Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be showing you guys how I did this install, but, but, I told you guys moving forward we were going to be intentional and we were going to be educational. So in addition to this install, I'm going to be showing you guys how I um, bleach my knots, how I pluck my closures because the closures and the frontals are a whole different thing but this is a closure um and how i pretty much lay them this one was a super quick and easy install um it's not perfect i'm gonna just start there but i also feel like it's better for me to not always show you guys perfection because if you're watching this you probably need help and you're probably gonna make a mistake on your first or second try and i'm gonna show you guys that it is okay so, if you want to see how I got this hair, because I still think it looks great, okay? I love this, like, curl pattern, wave pattern. You guys know this is my favorite, okay? It's from Wig and Tear, period. So, if you're interested on how I got this install and how I bleach my knots and all that fun stuff, then make sure you guys are subscribed to my channels, both of them. Y'all know the drill. If this is not your first time here, you already know what's up. And like this video and keep watching. All right, guys, so we're going to be working with wig and hair again. They seem to be a fave on this channel, so I had to bring it back. So I have this Natural Wave 5x5 closure unit. It is 24 inches, and I'm not sure what the density is, but it is not thin at all, and it is not, like, overly obnoxiously thick either. It's perfect, so I'm assuming 180. Um, so this is what the wig looks like when you get it. The knots are actually pretty small, which means they're going to bleach easily and pluck easily and it's going to look good. If you did not want to do the bleaching and the plucking, you could honestly get away with just laying it with some mousse, using your hot comb, something of that sort. But today we're going to, we're going to lay and schlay this thing. Okay. So I always start off by spraying my, um, closure area with some hairspray. I'm just using my Sebastian shaper and I'm just spraying it, spraying it, spraying it so that I can get rid of the flyaways so that I don't potentially bleach the hair. We want to bleach the knots of the wig, not the hair. So just spray and brush it back. Um, I use Sebastian because it was the closest hairspray. Honestly, use your cheapest hairspray, whatever hairspray. This part is not that important. So make sure you wear gloves. I know I don't always wear gloves, but you guys wear gloves, okay? Because I had just got my nails done this day, so I was like, we're going we gonna to get it right, okay? So I'm using this Blonde Brilliance um, Lightning Powder, aka Bleach, and I'm using this Ion 30 Developer. I prefer to use 40 because I'm lazy and it's quicker, but I only have 30, and for some reason, every time I go to Sally's, they only have 30 in store. So I don't know if they just don't sell 40 right now or what's going on, but... I have 30 and it gets the job done okay so I use two scoops of the developer and then um, for my um, developer measurement I literally just do that I don't know what it is but it works like every time <laughs> so um, I'm just gonna take this mini whisk I got this whisk from Prob home goods but I know they do sell them in the beauty supply store as well but this is like an actual like egg beater whisk but like <laughs> We make some shake over here. So this was my first time using this developer, uh, I mean this bleach for knots specifically. I've used it on hair and I obviously use more bleach, but um, I just had to add a little bit more because this bleach is a little bit thicker. So typically it's like two scoops of, um, if you're bleaching your frontal or your closure, you want to do two scoops of developer and like say one scoop of um sorry oh my gosh you want to do two scoops of bleach and one scoop of developer that would be the ratio to get the thick consistency because you want the consistency to be thick so that it does not bleed through the hair and bleach the hair and then you have blonde roots because who has blonde roots with black hair mm, i don't know So now that I've gotten my um, mixture to my consistency that I like, I'm going to go ahead and just lather onto the closure. Closures are really easy, you guys. It's a 5x5, five five, so it's 5 inches going across and 5 inches going down the middle or going back. And you're just taking a brush and just painting it on there. You just want to paint it and make sure you're covering all the, the hair and the lace area so that the knots are bleaching. So I'm going to do this in real time to show you guys how easy it is. It's super quick. It takes like a minute. Um, once you do that, you want to let it sit. You want it to um, process for 30 minutes. Every wig is going to be different. I say 30 minutes. 
but it could be less and it could be more it depends on the quality of the hair and the size of the knot so just check your wig every 10 minutes if you're new to this and you're a beginner just check it but typically it's about 30 minutes or longer sometimes longer sometimes a little 45 minutes it'd be hitting but let's just start off with 30 minutes and um then we're gonna go to the sink So once your timer goes off, you want to check your knots and you guys see those little black spots. Ideally, those would be gone and invisible. But again, this is for my beginners. I don't want to overwhelm you. I don't want you guys over bleaching your knots. So we're just going to take this slow. OK, but the knots are lightened up. So you want to wash that out and um, then you're going to go ahead and tone them. Sometimes when you bleach your knots, it can come off a little brassy. As you can see, it's a little bit like orangey brownish. So I'm just taking a purple shampoo, lathering it up on the lace, and I let it sit for about five to 10 minutes. It doesn't need a long time. It's a very quick process. So this is the purple shampoo that I'm going to be using. After I do that, I do take some Dawn soap and I wash that lace out too, just to make sure that the developer is out. It is clean. So it doesn't irritate your scalp, your face, any of that. And it's like literally squeaky, squeaky clean. So once the lace part is, is clean and ready to go, we're going to go ahead and wash the hair. I used any shampoo I had on hand, any conditioner. I literally have a cabinet full of shampoo and conditioners that I'm trying to run through. So yeah, um, this is by Organics. I love, I just love the smell of this and I actually really do like the formula. It makes my hair super shiny. So I'm just lathering. Oh, did you guys hear that? That was rude. <laughs> so I'm just lathering it up and then, um, and try not to like be so rough with your hair try to like run your fingers through it really like lather it you know what i'm saying and then i'm gonna go ahead and condition it So this is the conditioner I've been using. I love this conditioner and the shampoo. I just couldn't find the shampoo at this moment, but it's amazing. And then I'm just gonna um, brush through it and let it sit for a few minutes. By the way, that ball of hair that you guys see, I had cleaned out my brush before I started using it, but there was not a lot of shedding with this hair at all. But just know that any kind of deep wave or curly hair is gonna have a little bit more shedding than body wave. But honestly, with this unit, I did not have any issues even after running my fingers through it when it was dry on my head everything it was good to go so now i'm plucking so let me tell you guys just a disclaimer before i continue i got a new tweezer and i thought i was doing something but it was doing too much okay this tweezer was taking literally chunks of my hair out like do you see how fast that's plucking like that's like great but like i wasn't expecting that because i was so used to my other tweezer so yeah um but i'm gonna give you guys a little tip okay we're just gonna act like i didn't over pluck it you want to pluck behind the hairline because if you pluck on the hairline you know if you do happen to over pluck it's gonna look like you have a receding hairline it's gonna look like it's balding so at least if you do it behind the hairline you can kind of cam camouflage it a little bit so that's my technique so as you pluck too you want to brush i mean sorry comb through the hair just so that you can see what you're doing make sure you're not over plucking like me <laughs> and that's how much came out um and this is a tweezer i think it's by revlon i got it from walgreens but child, it was sharp okay i haven't had a new tweezer in a long time so now i'm pushing it back just to see what i'm working with and then i did continue to pluck a little bit more because i'm slow um and then i do use this keratin oil i love 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 this stuff you guys i spray it on my hair all the time when it's wet comb it through and let my hair air dry i'm telling you your hair comes out so smooth so silky and it just looks really good and it smells great too so um after that i do let it go ahead and dry i think i'll put it under the dryer this day don't know probably but yeah either let it dry um under the dryer or let it air dry it really doesn't make a difference all depends on if you have somewhere to go or you got things to do Thank you. 
So now that your hair is nice and dry and fluffed out, you want to go ahead and install her. Okay, she's ready to be worn, she's ready to be seen, she's ready to be outside. So I have been basically applying my wigs um, the same. I'm going to be using my even spray, I believe the yellow one, and it's super easy. Just spray, lay, and it's dried. You cut the lace and you go. It's the easiest thing. It's the best product. I used to think that my got to be spray was bomb. Y'all, this spray is bomb. So I'm just like hot combing it back to get rid of those flyaways because I wanted to make sure that it was laid and slayed, okay? That is the whole purpose of this here video. So now it's time to cut the lace. Do not use these big old scissors. Y'all, I could not find my little ones, um, but y'all know I make it do what it do. So just cut your lace, and then I basically just parted my hair, started to mold it. I did some struggly baby hairs. You guys are going to see when I start parting the baby hairs out where I overplucked, but it's okay. It's okay. We all make mistakes, and it's still giving scalp. It's still giving. <laughs> So you guys we are almost done I did add some powder to my part I feel like it makes the install look a lot cleaner and then I added some water to my hair I just wet my hands and ran my fingers through it to make the curls pop as you can see it looks great and look at that quality yes and that was it this hair didn't need any styling I let it continue air drying and that was it so make sure you guys check out Wigan's hair I will leave all the information down in the description box and thanks so much for watching I'll see you guys in my next video bye